All right, we have uh, this story from Reuters. U.S. State Department at Spence Blinken and the Turkish Foreign Minister to chat, but says uh, policy on S-400 will remain unchanged. And so this is something I've talked a lot about on the show because Turkey is a NATO ally. Turkey is very involved in Syria and has a lot of influence and impact on the U.S. uh, policy for Syria, which, you know, we've been at war there for uh, almost a whole decade now. And this article says that the Secretary of State Blinken is expected to talk with his Turkish counterpart, uh, but that he will reiterate the American policy on Turkey's opposing Turkey's Russian S-400 missile purchase will remain unchanged. Important things that came with this uh, when So Turkey bought the S-400 missile system from Russia a few years ago. Uh, This is an air defense system. And at the time, they said that there would create too many strategic problems for the U.S. and NATO because Turkey's a NATO country, because Turkey was a part of the uh, F-35 project. They're supposed to have uh, American-made or Western-made, you know, air defense. All all their military systems are supposed to be from, you know, Western countries while buying this from Russia. They said was a a security breach and all that. I guess Turkey thought they were better weapon systems and uh, would make a a better deal and maybe even provide like a check against NATO countries uh, because there's a lot of tension in NATO between Turkey and other members and not just the U.S., but also France. Um, So... Turkey was eventually kicked out of the F-35 project for this, and the U.S. has been threatening sanctions uh, on Turkey in response, and I think actually put some sanctions on Turkey towards the end of the Trump administration. And so we now know that Biden is going to continue this policy. Um you know, in a sense, I'm not necessarily opposed to it because it ends up with the U.S. selling less weapons to Turkey. Not a big fan of sanctions, but I don't think the, these are widespread sanctions and, and just target uh, Turkey's defense department or uh, acquisition area. Now, the F-35, I think they're still making some parts for that in Turkey because they haven't found a U.S. manufacturer to make it. It was super expensive, uh, like $500 million to kit Turkey out of the project and and, you know, find other plants or make other plants to make those parts elsewhere. Uh, so that was a, a blow to the U.S. tax payers. Of course, we should all just cancel the F-35 project and move on. Uh, we have some. 